Hey guys, it's Lumi here, and I'm coming to you guys with an artifact video, specifically talking about a new deck that I made since patch 1.2. So 1.2 came out yesterday, and one of the big changes that was made was that Timbersaw got buffed. Previously, Timbersaw's passive is that you get one armor for each unit attacking Timbersaw. But now, in addition to that, Timbersaw also applies a minus one armor onto enemies that are attacking him. I've been trying to make some sort of minus armor strategy work for a while now, and I was always stuck with using Ursa plus Bristleback. Of course, Bristleback also applies minus armor thanks to his viscous nasal goo. And I was re really never satisfied with Ursa because his minus armor would only work and uh, if you actually get the physical hidden. So Ursa's passive is that it applies minus one armor uh, through battle damage. And it was never too guaranteed, like I had to make sure that I get the attack in, then it'll work later on. Uh, whereas Timbersaw works immediately, and it really synergized what I'm trying to do with the deck. So you might be asking, what are you trying to do with the deck? Well, the deck is trying to do a little bit of ping damage, and do it a lot of times. So what I mean by ping damage is that, look at Zeus's passive. Uh, you deal one damage whenever you're playing a, a blue spell to your enemy neighbors. So normally you just play a blue card and you blue spell rather, and you deal one damage. But if you're applying minus armor to them previously before doing this, instead of dealing one, then you're dealing two, or you're dealing three, or you're dealing four, depending on how much minus armor that you have uh, on, on the target. So there are some very sick turns where you could actually play two to three spells, and with all of the minus armor, you're just zapping everything down. And to go along with the the zapping thing. We're playing Ogre Magi, of course, because Ogre Magi gives you Ignite, which lets you spread out a ton of damage uh, to the whole board. And with Minus Armor, instead of taking one piercing damage, they're taking two or three, depending on how, many, how much Minus Armor they have. And of course, the last hero slot, I have Skyrath Mage. So previously, I was thinking of using Luna, because Luna fits thematically with the deck quite well, because you know she also deals more ping damage with her Lucid Beam. But... After some testing, I was actually very impressed with Skyrath Mage's Concussive Shot. During the early to mid game, when you're trying to build up your combination of plays and you're trying to stabilize, uh, the Concussive Shot is really, really powerful because it, it gives you a guaranteed way to get minus armor. Because sometimes you, you, you don't draw your Viscous Nasal Goo or Timbersaw might not be in position. So Skyrath Mage gives you a way to actually get that minus armor from, from blue. Because previously, all of the minus armor is coming directly from red. So, Skyrath Mage, even though he has less stats than Luna, um, I feel that he's actually more synergistic with the deck. So, I've been trying him out, and I've been pretty impressed with it. So, the key cards of the deck I want to talk about are Ignites, Conflagrations, which fits the whole theme of the deck, where you're spreading more minus armor, you're spreading more AoE damage, and of course... I'll be remiss to not talk about my boy, the Path the Wise. So this is essentially doubling, uh, well not exactly doubling, but another effect that's kind of like Zeus, where after you play a blue card, deal one piercing damage to random enemy. So you can see that the idea of the deck is you're playing a whole bunch of blue spells and blue cards, you're putting minus armor on enemy, and then you zip zap, zip zap, zip zap. And then I want to talk about the item deck a bit. And this item deck looks quite differently from your usual item deck. Because we're playing Risto Emblem, which is probably a card that you probably never really play with, because it's generally not very good. But in this deck, it is perfect. Risto Emblem is a 4 cost uh, health item. Equip hero has 4 health and minus 2 armor, so generally that's why you're not playing it, because it, it negatively impacts your own hero. But the unit blocking the equip hero also has minus 2 armor, so ah, you can see why I'm having it in the in the deck here. Because you're killing a lot of hero with these ping effects, with Ignite and Conflagration, having more minus armor on demand is quite good. And the nice thing about this is, you could put it on, let's say, Zeus or Ogre or your, even your Timbersaw, and you deploy him, deploy them into a lane, and as soon as they land, they are applying the minus armor in front of the units in front of them, which allows your Conflagration and Ignite to go just completely off. There are some turns where I just deploy a hero in with Bristol Emblem, and the hero that they're blocking just essentially dies before they even get to play a card. So, Ristol Emblem lets you upkeep kill quite nicely. And then we have Keenful Musket coming in as well. Uh, Keenful Musket generally seen in draft decks and generally seen in more pre-constructed decks. And 
honestly, the item is like okay. It's not amazing, but in this deck, it's you're shooting for four damage minimum, and a lot of times you're shooting to f from five to six damage, thanks to all the minus armor you have. So, it's a really really fun budget deck. Speaking of budget, I want to talk about the cost of the deck. The must have cards in the deck are the three Path of the Wise, which I believe are sitting at seven cents each, nine cents each. And the Conflagration. Conflagration is like $1.15, so it is one of the pricier rares in a deck, but you cannot play a deck without it. So, uh, And then you look at Annihilation and be like, Lumi, isn't Annihilation pretty expensive? Yes, it is. It's like a $7 card, but you don't need Annihilation at all. So when I start building this deck, I started with three Annihilation. I was thinking, well, it's a blue deck, so let's put three Annihilations in, because it's one of the best cards in, in, the, in the color. And then what I've realized is that because... I'm spreading so much minus armor because I'm running three ignites, three conflagration, and three path of the wise. I actually don't need to annihilate as frequently as you might think. I'm just killing the board anyways. Um, I cut it down to one annihilation because it's still a very powerful card, and it's still nice to have in your back pocket just in case uh, something really bad happens. But if you don't have this card, don't feel the need to go out and buy it to play this deck. Uh, you don't need it at all if if you don't have the card. The two spring the trap is fine uh, to have without as well. Uh, I was feeling that the deck sometimes needed a little bit of late game pushing power. Bring the trap really helps out. I've included two games of me playing it on stream. I won eight and one with the deck. Pretty impressive win rate, given that this is a really really janky deck built around like, some janky cards. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so the brave man is playing Drow Ranger after the nerf. Brave man indeed. Is that a turn one whirling death kill? Seems like it. Looks like a turn one whirling death kill to me. See ya. Did I path of the wise in here? Probably not. Well, yeah, let's just do it here. <clears throat> I would definitely do it in the last lane if I actually had some blue cards in my hand, but I don't, so. I'm gonna debate him into thinking that I'm gonna go left with with my path and then not go left. Oh fuck, I debated myself, he's going into here instead. Okay, compels a great draw. Now I could compel and attack uh, this Kana. Or do I want to save it for the last lane? No, I think I want to get hero kills when I can. And of course I had a 25% chance of multicast. Okay. Oh, fuck. That beam. That beam was spot on, guys. Oh, great. Conflagration is going to wreck this lane. I actually keep my hero alive. Perfect. So... Do I want a blink or a healing salve? I think a healing salve, because currently all my heroes are alive. And let's keep it like that. Wow, this is the hard ignore on the first lane. I cannot say I agree with this decision. I really wish I cast a Path of the Wise on the last lane. It would have been so much better. Come on, opponent. You don't have any cards you can play. Alright, come flag it up. That poor board indeed. 
You know, the this 4 HP creep is also going to die because uh, Risto Emblem is giving minus 2 armor in front of it. So everything except the 2 heroes is going to die, which is uh, pretty awesome. Red miss in the first lane and come flag into the second. That's a fair lane. I was actually thinking that um, I need to I need to play for this lane as well. I can't just pass. I need to like start killing creeps. But that's a. I think your I think your point is actually pretty fair. So the question is, do I want to save the gun for this lane? And I think the answer is yes. Oh, too easy. So first I'm going to try to path the wise. And give me the 50-50. Zap him down. Nice. So now I... Now I think I just heal up and pass. 19 gold, not bad. Blink, gun, and the card, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's pretty bad. Oh, he's going right back. But why is he trying so hard? Does he not see the come flag? I guess now with Eclipse and the minus armor on Zeus, I could get rid. Well, now I could uh, Pillager. Yeah, and Pillager is much better here. Yeah, Pillager, I'm going to blink this guy to the far right. <clears throat> And that's going to prompt no one can stand this guy to come into the first lane, I guess. Eclipse is going to be pretty bad for me. By my own word. Okay, so... Looks like he's trying to reach mana for Incarnation of Salamene or something, but we're going to say no to that. Smash. So he's going to be down to 8 mana. Unless he has Sanctum. And if you have Sanctum, then, you know, we're in trouble. Okay, that's... That is fine! That is fine by me. Let's do this. I don't want to have a big board to deal with. He should heal this up if he's smart. Okay. And I get it for 10. Maybe I should have shot this and reduced the board. Like I said I would. Ugh, Eclipse is going to wreck me here. Oh, he doesn't have Eclipse. Okay. So we're going to spit on him. Are you guys going to... You guys ready to watch the magic? This Drow is going to be ripped. Equip the gun. Going to swap her into me. Dealing three damage. Oh, this Zap was supposed to finish him off. Okay, we're going to pass now. We have initiative, and we're happy with that. That, that zap was supposed to finish him off. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll buy the potion. He's going into the last lane again. Why do people have such a hard on for the last lane? Oh my god, do I have the nuts? 
Okay, so if I double come flag in here, this lane is just dead, right? Like everything changes size. That seems good. Let's just kill his kill his lane. And then I'm missing three damage here. Okay. He needs a uh, Rumesk's blessing, which I don't know if he's running. And even if he runs Rumesk's blessing, then I have initiative to Mystic Flare. Man, conflagration! What a card! this do 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 oh we're missing one damage okay let's get one damage here and then we're gonna set up a knight and this is a dead tower and he's gonna lose the first lane all right got him what what's our record so far we are Four out of five, I think. Yo, my opponent, is he playing all the nerf cards? I don't know how the skill rating works. I'm actually very curious. I think I learned from my mistake. I'm just going to path into this lane. If I draw a ignite, that would be really nice. I'll do my part. Okay, good thing no arrow for me. And no set. We will fight oh, perfect! Us. Now I could smash it. Well, not perfect because I'd rather play viscous nasal goo, but. Actually, this is pretty tough. I go like this. I got this. Let's see, uh, in block they say you gain rating when you beat the higher rated player. I, I just don't know how fast you're supposed to, oh this seems pretty good. Kill the zero, got two armor, now I attack for eight. Oh my god, another miss. Well, that lane looks like incredibly hard to win. Alright. Zap here. Oh, that zap was actually useless. That's unfortunate. Alright, Skyrath Chan. Do your best. Do your best to hold off this army. Well, I don't know how, how many games you need to rank up, right? I wish it, it shows you a progression system if you are ranking up. These, these mists are shrekking me. The money's good. There's no one who won't spend. This will be risky. Think gonna conflict right into here? Concerned about these 
and then I'll probably conflagrate into the first lane. Let's do this to make sure I kill this creep. Every creep that we kill makes it easier and easier to defend. Okay. And now I get to spit on this guy, so he... Maybe that's not a good spit, but I'm just being mana efficient here at this point. And then I get to conflagrate back into the first lane to start helping this lane out. Is he going to heal himself? Great. So now I have initiative. So technically, I could just annihilate that lane and deploy Timber middle. going to think about that for a second. Do I want to annihilate and get two for one? That seems reasonable. Or maybe you go into here. No, I don't like playing so much for the last thing. Fuck, he did go into there. Okay, I guess we're annihilating. And now we have both our blue hero or red hero stranded in the middle lane. At least we have spring the trap. Not great. Okay, Annihilation is going to be good. Why not Cloak Ogre? Because he hero dying is not that big of a deal. And I had Annihilation in hand, so I get to Annihilate this lane. Okay, I'm going to pass. I was hoping he would play something and give me initiative. But it looks like... Oh! He's just passed. So now I get to... Oh, we're going to watch some zappy action here. Oh, yeah. The zaps are real. So now I've killed... Uh, by the way, this guy's going to get upkeep killed as well. So I'm going to be able to push in that lane. I think. Is that an upkeep kill? Yep, he said 3 HP and... Yeah, that's going to be an upkeep kill. Okay, so I'm going to go for an incredible uh, expensive play. So what I'm going to do first is put the gun on. And then I'm going to re-equip my weapon as an advanced play and kill his uh, mist. Okay, so now I need to think about where am I preventing him from pushing? I think he's actively pushing the first lane, so I could double miss into here. I could double miss into here. Oh, I don't mind if people uh, suggest plays in chat. I am... I am more than uh, receptive of that. I know I make a lot of mistakes when I play as well, so... Okay, so that's going to be a kill. So I could set up Red Miss Pillager here, and that will just take the tower. But I'm actually going to blink Timber to the right. It doesn't take the tower this turn, but that allows me to use my Spring to Trap. And he's going to be at, you know, 4 HP as Red Green, and he can't really defend against all of this. So these Ignites and Conflagration are very good for setting up keep kills, which is how I killed Tie Hunter this turn. I could have killed him last turn by equipping an uh, attack item, but it's better that Tie Hunter was around for this turn and then the improvement killed him before he ca cost any card. So he's out this turn and next turn, which was incredibly nice. So now I could spring the trap into here, which seems pretty good. Okay, Berserker Call, he was afraid. He was afraid of me casting blue cards, but actually red cards is what I'm pushing with. So that is quite a bit of damage. Now I'm threatening lethal on the last two towers.
And the question is now, where am I deploying my blue heroes? I think here is okay. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be the harder tower for him to defend. Oh, and he landed in front of Ogre. Ogre gives him minus two armor. So these ignites, they're dealing three damage each. So he's going to be at one HP at the start of the turn. Oh. <laughs> oh, the ignites. All right, but he heals it, but he's just going to die. As I say, upkeep kills. Should have got a Jasper dagger against us. Wait, was Jasper in Sci Shop? I didn't see it. Okay, the gun is gonna trade with me. That's unfortunate. Oh, fuck. Well, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Okay. Well, then I should have bought it. I didn't even look for it. Okay, I'm gonna go for a advanced play. I'm gonna smash my only improvement. Because I already won this lane. And I the car right now is more important. And I get to TP him out. And let's see if I could finish off this tower. I could cast two Stone Hall Elites for eight more damage. It looks like I'm gonna do it. Because I don't see what he could play. It looks like he's gonna play just one big thing, and that's not gonna be close to doing it. Okay, I'm gonna just pass and let him play his cards. Okay, that's not enough. I guess Berserker Call would be really bad for me. Alright. We are 5-1 and one with this janky deck. And we're honestly, we're beating up some really good decks, so... Level 4! I could be a melee creep now. Nice! Alright, let's be a melee creep. Back to menu. Oh, rank 2! Nice!